Hey guys, this is Soy from the Channel Fred Reader Network. You're tuned in for Pokemon Parody Animations. We have a great animation today for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hey there guys, welcome back. Subly and I here are making our way around Johto and you have joined us on Route 38 as we've just left Olivine City. Let me tell you a little bit about what we saw. Now, if you are in Johto, you'd be crazy not to visit the haven of Moo Moo Farm. Moo Moo Farm is a place where exclusively mill tanks are reared and there are cow Pokemon as far as the eye can see. Not only that, but you can pick up Moo Moo Milk here, a product that I understand is shipped around the world but it's so much better if you get it fresh. But if you're less of a rural person and looking for a city, you're in luck, because nearby to Moo Moo Farm is Olivine City. Olivine City is a coastal town, but unlike a lot of other seafront towns, it has elected to modernise itself, doing away with the greenery and most of the beach, which is in stark contrast to the sea which it's next to and the wooded area nearby. The industrialisation of Olivine City is probably less of a surprise when you find out who the gym leader here is. It's Jasmine. She champions Steel-type Pokémon and battles with two Magnemite and a Steelix. Aside from her league responsibilities, she does have one other very important job, as she is the person who keeps Glitter Lighthouse running. Whether you're visiting Olivine City to get to Moo Moo Farm or get yourself a mineral badge, I implore that you visit the lighthouse. In the day, from the top of the lighthouse, the views are beautiful, and at night, seeing Ampharos in full display, illuminating the waters all the way out to Whirlpool Island, well, it's just... it's overwhelming. Only skilled trainers should ever head out there. All others should try and fly or use the ferry service. Olivine City has a lot of ships coming in and out, and amongst those are ferries from Vermilion City in Kanto. And all the staff and sailors from these vessels tend to stop at the local cafe, which is chock full of hearty fare for beefy sailors. It's also worth mentioning that some visitors to Olivine City speak of seeing a huge silhouette of a bird Pokemon flying out along the horizon, but those brave enough to go and explore the islands themselves have never really reported any findings. Needless to say, whilst here is a brilliant time to catch yourself an electric water type Pokemon Chinchou, like I did. The industrialisation and electricity of the city has influenced the waters and surrounding wildlife and is the perfect habitat for these types of Pokemon. In all, Olivine City is a very pleasant stop for anyone's Pokemon adventure. It is a great vantage point for seeing things in the surrounding areas and some fantastic personalities. Swubbly and I have come away with a new badge and a new friend, and we're off to find more. See you next time when we visit another brilliant Pokemon City. See you later! Hope you guys liked that cartoon. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon parody animations every single week. So we have the question of the week. It happens to be, which Pokemon do you think has a higher IQ? Coughing or Geodude? Click on one of the boxes to vote for the Pokemon. If not, leave a comment down below if you're on mobile.